In this video, I'm going to talk about standard deviation and variance. Um, when we talk about deviation, we're talking about how far a point is uh, in a data set from the mean of that entire data set. As a little housekeeping, uh, there is some, you know, nomenclature, or there is a little bit of sim symbol that you need to know, or how you show specific things. Specifically, the mean value uh, would be x with a bar over top of it. Um, if I'm talking about standard deviation, I use the Greek letter for sigma, and variance, which is one of the measures you find to get to uh, standard deviation, you'll use the letter sigma and then square it. Now, uh, the nice thing about standard deviation is it's a measure, a statistical measure, that I can use to sort of give me a guidepost for where a point would lie in a data set. So if I know what the mean is, and I know what the standard deviation is, uh, say it's you know, the standard deviation is 3. Well, if my mean value is at 20, I can sort of get a guidepost if I go up one standard deviation and down one standard deviation. So I go up to uh, 23 and 17. It's almost like one mile away from the middle. And then two miles out would be two standard deviations. Depending on the type of distribution you have or how your numbers are sort of set up, uh, if it falls into one of the the specific types of distribution like normal distribution. You can find out important information about what percentage of the data falls within those uh, so between uh, those standard deviations. So you can figure out sort of where that data point falls as a percentile, which is nice. But the standard deviation is more like a guidepost in terms of how the numbers are skewed from the mean. Anyway, first things first, we need to figure out what the mean value is. In order to do that, I just simply uh, add all my numbers together. So I find the sum of them essentially. And then I want to divide by how many there are. Um, so from here I think I end up with 40 over 5. So my mean value in this data set is 8. Uh, so now I know where that is. From here what I'm going to do is actually take uh, or create a little chart and that should uh, break down the information in sort of a visual format that's kind of easy to see. So in my first column, I'm going to have all of my data points. So 3, 6, 9, 11, and 11. In the second line, I'm going to use my mean value. So I already figured that one out for all of them. It's always the same, 8. 8, 8, 8, and 8. Try to get this thing going a little bit. In my third set, what I'm going to do is look specifically at how far away each point is from the mean. So in the case of 3, I'll do uh, 3 minus 8, which gives me negative 5 because it's below the mean. Uh, 6 minus 8 gives me negative 2, 9 minus 8 gives me positive 1, 11 minus 8 gives me positive 3, and same thing in the last one. And then finally, I'm going to look at taking that information that I just found and squaring it. What it'll do uh, eventually by squaring it is it'll help me standardize it a little more. Eventually, to find standard deviation, you do go through a square root process. But for right now, I just want to know what the numbers are squared. It basically it makes it uh, gives me a way to do it positively. So negative five squared is twenty-five. Um, the next one would be negative two squared, so it's four. So in this case, it gives me all positive numbers, so I know exactly how far uh, I'm set. I'm able to assess. Uh, total deviation as opposed to just like uh, numbers canceling each other out, like positives and negatives canceling each other out. So um, 1 squared is 1, 3, it gives me a better analysis than the magnitude of the change. So what I need to do is take this last column that I've created and uh, do a little a sum here. And as you can see, that 3 there really sort of moves the pile a little bit. It kind of fiddles with it a little bit. So 25 plus 4 plus 1, plus 9, plus 9. And I get a sum of, by the way, this is of the sum of x minus the square of the differences, or the deviations, basically, is 48. Now, to find my variance, all I need to do is take the sum, 
So I'm going to go over here and do the variant. Hopefully with a color that's easy to see. So variant pins being weird. Uh, all I need to do is take a sum of the changes. So I'll use this, uh, the summation symbol, which I already have right here, by the way. And then I just want to divide it by the number of terms. So that's how I find the variance. So in this case, it'd be 48 divided by 5. And 48 divided by 5 is 9.6. There's my uh, sigma squared, or my variance. So if I was going to write the uh, components of this one specific problem up in the corner in a convenient place, I'd say that the uh, mean is 8. Sigma squared is equal to 9.6. And all I need to do for my um, standard deviation, and do it on the other side, is essentially just take the square root of the uh, variance. So its formula looks like this. It looks crazy uh, when you actually write it out. It does, however, look like super official, like you're doing a lot of math when really not so much. I need to sort that part down. So the square root of the sum of x minus uh, the mean squared over n. So basically you're just taking the variance and you're finding the square root of it. So the square root of 9.6 and the square root of 9.6 is 3.1. So going back up to my little chart, I'd find out that uh, I get 3.1. And that's it. So uh, set up your, uh, to find it, you know, if you need it, uh, just go in and find your mean value. Uh, figure out how far each one of the points is from the mean. Square those distances so you can get a positive deviation that you can work with. And then use that sum, divide by the number of terms to give you your variance, and then just take the square root to get you back to uh, a real uh, analysis of how far away numbers are on average from the mean uh, by doing your square root of the uh, variance there. No big deal.